Hello everyone, welcome back to another video from Shomu's Biology. In this video, we are going to talk about the details about ICMR BRIT examination. DHR ICMR BRIT examination. Earlier it was termed as ICMR GRF. Now what were the differences between ICMR GRF and DHR ICMR BRIT examination? I have clearly stated the difference in the earlier video. The summary table is here in my screen. You can see that. But if you want to see the detailed explanation, then watch that video. Now we are going to talk about the DHR ICMR BRIT examination details. And the very first thing that I want to talk about is exam pattern. Okay, how the exam is being conducted. So the test format is CBT, computer based test format. Uh, and it is a single paper format. Duration of the exam is two hours means 120 minutes. And uh, there are some sections and structure of the examination which I am going to talk about now. So there are three sections. First is section A consists of aptitude, numerical aptitude, reasoning, quantitative aptitude, uh, reading comprehension, all these questions. Basically this section A or aptitude part is becoming very common in all kinds of competitive examination in India. So if you choose CSI net life science examination there is part A. Here in the BRET examination, the ICMR BRET examination, there is section A, right? In ICMR BRET, the aptitude, 50 compulsory questions are out there. Every single question weighs uh, for, you can say, uh, one mark each, so 50 marks in total, okay? Next is section B. Section B is also compulsory. Section A was compulsory. Section B is also compulsory. Cross-disciplinary fundamental questions are asked. 50 such compulsory questions on fundamental of life sciences like molecular biology, cell structure, genetics, physiology, evolution, basic biological processes will be there, will be asked. So 50 plus 50, one, uh, 100 marks. Then section C, this is a section which is specialized section. So while you fill up the form, you choose the section C, which section you want to go with. You, want, you can go with biochemistry, you can go with microbiology, you can go with immunology, you can go with biotechnology, you can go with botany. So for different sections, you can choose the section C. So what, whichever subject background you belong to, you select that one. If you are a biochemistry student, have done MSc in biochemistry, then select biochemistry. If you are a microbiology student and are very confident answering microbiology question, then select microbiology as a specialization. So based on your specialization, uh, this section C is provided. Subject specific knowledge and if you choose microbiology, then all the 50 questions will be asked will be from microbiology. If you choose biochemistry, then all the 50 questions will be asked will be from uh, biochemistry. Okay, so this way, it will continue. So this is a specific zone 50. So one third of the question you will get from your zone of interest. The rest 50 plus 50, 50 aptitude and 50 cross discipline. So basically what they wanted to say is that uh, whether you're from biochemistry, microbiology, immunology, biotechnology background, but you need to, you need to understand, you need to know the very basic overview of biological sciences. So without knowing the ba basic overview of biological sciences, the cross-disciplinary fundamentals, uh, it's no point uh, to attend the examination. So you need to do that. Next is the total question, 50 plus 50 plus 50, 150 questions. All questions are single one mark questions. So total marks 150. All three sections are compulsory. Remember that compulsory means you have to attend it. Okay, next is negative marking. Negative marking is 0.25 marks, means 25% of the marks of each incorrect answer. Okay, uh, the marks uh, requirement now uh, is the general EWS and OBC category. The minimum marks requirement is 55% to be eligible for the examination. SCST PWD category, uh, PWD it should be, uh, the minimum is 55% in order to be eligible to attend the exam. Age limit and relaxation. Now for general category, 28 years age limit. General category and male candidates of general category, it's 28 years. Now relaxations will be there. Five years relaxation for SCST, PWD and female candidates. So they have the relaxed age till 33 years. And three years relaxed for OBC category, non criminal relaxed till 31 years, okay? Educational qualifications. Now, who are eligible in terms of educational qualification? MSc or equivalent degree in life sciences. So, be it, uh, be it uh, any any uh, any of the MSc in biochemistry, microbiology, cell biology, genetics, physiology, botany, zoology. 
biotechnology. So all of them, they are eligible for that. If they are done MSc or they are doing MSc, that's the last same of the MSc and they have result awaited category, they can still apply. Minimum marks required 55% already mentioned for general OBC EWS, 50% for SCST and PWD categories. Now what is the marking scheme in the examination? This is very very important to know uh, what are the different sections, remember section A, B and C, number of question, total marks and the nature of the, the unit and what they focus on. So we'll start with uh, here the correct answer, every single correct answer is one marks, uh, one mark incorrect answer is minus 0.25, so basically 25% penalty. So here we have section A, aptitude, the number of question asked 50, total marks 50, nature is compulsory and it, the, the type of question will be logical reasoning, quantitative numerical aptitude, comprehension. Section B, cross disciplinary subject, 50 questions will be there, total marks 50, compulsory and it will focus on fundamental concepts of biology from all the different fields, from genetics, from evolution, from basic biological sciences, from biochemistry, from, from overall biological sciences. Section C, subject specific, 50 marks, total 50 questions, nature compulsory, but you need to choose any one subject from the list, let's say biochemistry, microbiology, immunology, these are the list. From, there are some other subjects also, so from the list you need to choose your subject and if, it, if your subject is not in that list, you need to choose any, any one which you feel confident about to get into the examination. Now these are applied analytical questions, experimental questions, experiment based questions, specialized questions and the total number of questions 150, total marks 150 and the total duration 2 hours or 120 minutes. So you need to cover 150 marks examination under 120 minutes. That's what we'll get for this examination. And if you qualify this examination, then what is the stipend provided? Definitely there is a stipend provided. For a junior research fellow, the stipend is 37,000 rupees. After two years, it will increase to 42,000 rupees, but again, it depends on your performance and also some interviews uh, and proper uh, selection afterwards to get into SRF. So as a JRF, junior research fellow will get 37,000 per month tax-free income and as an SRF, you will get 42,000 per month tax-free income. And the contingency grant of 20,000 rupees provided for your research work for buying chemicals, uh, infrastructure related uh, expenditure of own personal research and house rent allowance that is HRF depending upon uh, the central as per central government norms and depending upon in which state and city you are living in uh, based on that expenditure is also added and also provided. So that's all regarding uh, the general overview regarding the ICMR BRET examination, DHR ICMR BRET examination. I believe you got to know about every little detail about the ICMR, uh, DHR ICMR BRET examination. And if you want to know, if you wish to know the detailed syllabus of this examination, then watch my video on detailed syllabus. And if you want to know the difference between the earlier ICMR examination and now the new BRET examination, the video is already there in this channel. You can watch that too. And if you want to join us to prepare for this examination, if you want to get study material for your preparation, then contact us by this given number and also visit our website www.shomusbiology.com. Although we focus primarily on CSI and its syllabus, but uh, you'll be surprised at how much similarity this syllabus of uh, this DHR ICMR BRIT have with CSINET. So the material that we provide caters CSINET GRF, it caters ICMR uh, BRIT examination, it also caters GET Life Science examination. So all the other examinations will be ready for you if you prepare from our study material and you can get that at a significant discount. So contact in this given number. I'll see you there in the next video. If you like this video, please hit the like button, share this video with your friends, subscribe to this channel to get more videos like that in future. Thank you.